Welcome back. Welcome back, Profit Takers. What a day. I mean, Monday did not disappoint at all. I was very curious when my actual day two trend trade was going to play out. Um, and then I remembered that last week, Monday was also like this, guys. We were, I was also thinking, what in the world is going on? You know, markets don't typically move like this, right? They were just, it was just beautiful. Um, so today guys, um, I had posted in the locals group, um, DJ 30 or the Dow, whatever you want to call it, um, had a, uh, one peak formation low trade. Like it was one peak formation. Um, it's already the second day in the, the trading, um, session. Obviously it's already Tuesday, although it's still Monday for me. Um, so this has already changed over from one to two. Okay. So just be aware of that. Um, so I was expecting this to go long, right? And when we opened up today, we opened, um, already in breakout. So that was a good thing. <laughs> I was just like, wow, you know, this is just a beautiful trade. So, um, you know, what I, I tend to do, which, you know, doesn't always work, right? When I do measure the high and low of the previous day and use that level, right? As you've probably seen me do all the time, um, I use this 50% area as a place where price could possibly come down to get support and then continue on up. But since price has opened up, um, you know, out of, uh, out of balance, you know, it, did, it never did come back down here. So we were just literally just working with the low of the day. Um, and then when, of course, when, when the markets opened, we had a huge dump and anytime you have a dump, um, before, uh, or I wouldn't say, t I mean, usually it's before a session opens, then you can expect it to pump up. And I think this dump, let me look at the time because I need to look at this, um, yeah, this was at, well, actually for me, it's 8.30, right? I'm in central time. So that was actually within the market open. So that was actually, you know, a trade um, that would have, you know, would have been typically a normal, you know, short trade at the open um, and then waiting for the, uh, the long to come through, right? Because that's typically, if it's like way before the open, it's something that Stacey says all the time, Stacey Burke, and if, if it dumps before the open, then, um, think pump, but even with this scenario, it dumped. Right. And I did take the short trade for a little bit there. Cause I was like, okay, um, let me go ahead and take this. It was just, it looked so good. Like I love super duper clear setups. I am not, you know, 100% bias on my, uh, my day, even though I was expecting this to go long, it was going short while I was looking at it. So I took it anyway. And then by the time 10 o'clock rolled around, right? 10 o'clock rolled around and this thing started to, to, um, had already hit the low of the day. Right. And then that's when we started to go long. So 10 o'clock for me would probably, be, you know, that's 11 o'clock for people in the Eastern time. So, um, this was beautiful, right? So we had the nine, well, for me, it was eight, right? Nine and then 10, right? And this fits perfectly with the third hour trade that Stacy talks about all the time. And this happened last week, I do believe, where 10 o'clock where we had the actual trend trades. So um, I have written it on my note, my note uh, pad, my, that's on my wall, <laughs> um, that, you know, indices were moving at 10 o'clock and that was last week. So it did the same thing this week and I'm going to expect it to do this again tomorrow. I'm going to be watching for that. So we can see here now, um, it's the second day in, um, after the peak. Now, remember guys, I, I don't count, um, the way the indicator was initially built because this was built based off BTTM. And since then I have evolved even more as a trader, um, after learning more things with Stacy. Um, so I had, I used to always have a problem with the day count. And so now I count the actual peak, right. As day one and then day two and day three. And I've noticed that sometimes this is in line with how Stacy does it, but, um, we usually we'll have like, you know, a peak high here, 
or a peak low or whatever. And then the next day, um, if, if the peak low and the close above the open happen in one day, like this one did, right? We had, we're at close behold, excuse me, close above the open, then that is a good, that's a signal that you have a green day as well. Um, but sometimes that doesn't happen on this day and you have to wait till the next day to see if price is actually going to close above the open, which today it totally did, right? Um, it closed above. So I'm looking for, and then we got, you know, just one break, right? We have our previous day high break here. So I'm expecting one more uh, break up here for tomorrow um, before I can, you know, say, okay, maybe we should be looking to go short, right? Um, and I don't know if the short trend is going to be a, a actual shift in the market and we start going bearish or if it's just going to be a reversal within the current bull pattern. I don't, you know, I don't know that yet. But for right now, tomorrow um, is technically going to be the day three trade. Right. And if again, if we look back, because that's what, you know, I've also learned, you know, every every day is a third day trade. So is the setup is it is actual price, you know, setting up for you to take it is the question. Right. Um, so I'm going to be looking for this to do the same thing. Right. For tomorrow, um, uh, perhaps, you know, price did, you know, close back inside of the range, as we can see here the end of day is blank, right? And if it's blank, guys, it just means that it closed in the inside. So it could come down here, play around, right? We have open price or close price right here, okay? And I would love it to, uh, you know, test, retest or whatever. Sometimes it doesn't do that. But it could totally do what it did today, go to the high and then drop again to the low and then give me the opportunity to take this long, take that breakout, and then we'll have two previous day high breaks. Okay, that's exactly what I'm looking for tomorrow um, to play out with the Dow Jones, okay? Um, so yeah, <laughs> we'll see. But again, great trade. Now, GU guys, I was really excited about this one because it was actually my day three trade. Let me just show you. Um, first, let me just make sure I make some corrections here because this particular, this MT5 has where it often, it counts Sunday as a day, right? And I don't count Sunday, right? Obviously we're not trading on Sunday, but the market does open on Sunday and that's why it counts it as a day. Okay. But this is technically a uh, three, right? If we're counting the days after the peak, cause that's how the indicator was built. You count the days after the peak, but I count the days of the peak. Okay, so today was the third day continuation trend, uh, trend trade, right? So we had the peak here, right? And this one actually closed below the open, so that was a good sign. And then on Friday, we had the retracement to the high, right? And that gave us um, a beautiful um, setup for, and this was towards probably 10 o'clock. I don't have, um, I, it was probably around 10. I don't know what time that was. Uh, let me see. Uh, what time was that? You know, I forget now. 16.30. 16.30 on this server time. Uh, what time is it right now? Probably it was 10 or 11. Uh, I forgot, guys. Um, but nonetheless... When I was looking at this trade setup, I was like, oh, this is going to be my perfect three day setup trade because we have um, one break, right? We have one previous day uh, low break in structure and we love to see that, you know, it's out of balance. So prices closed. Um, let me see. What did I write on my notes here for GU? It closed down, right? It's perfect because the signal also said it closed down. So this is a sideways, right? And then of course we had the high and that thing just fell. But it fell when I was asleep. Like that is what ticked me off. <laughs> I'm like, why are you, why are you gonna be available for me, you know, on Friday in the later session? And then, you know, you come over here and start falling when I'm asleep. Like I'm not awake for London. Like that ticked me off. Oh, I was like, really? This was the trade that I was waiting for and it moved before me. Oh my goodness. 
So clearly I didn't take this. Now gold, let's go to gold because I was also looking at gold to take as well. Um, it was showing, let me get to that chart. It was also giving us a day to trend trade to go short. Um, okay. Um, we have our peak here and see, here's an example where price closed above, right? Literally closed above the open. So I'm going to need, you know, this day, right? So this is one day one, right? I'm going to need day two to show me that it's closing before below the open, which it did today. Okay. So this is a check, right? So I think this is where Stacy may count. This is day one. I don't know. Well, actually it is an actual day one based on it being a Monday, right? Um, so tomorrow I'm looking for prices to retrace a little bit and then, you know, give me this beautiful pattern so I can take it short. And preferably it's going to happen in my session. I mean, honestly, sometimes gold, gold moves all the time and is very plentiful and abundant for every session. And that's what I love about gold. <laughs> you can never really miss anything. Um, but I did not take this short today, guys, because I was too hung up on my Dow trade, on the crude trade. And I even took Russell and I didn't even plan on taking Russell, but I did. So I didn't take this because I figured, you know what, tomorrow it will be my day three trade for this. And this, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. All right. So let's go look at crude, which really was another one that was upsetting. Um, I looked at this and I'm like, I am not... Because when I got to the market again this morning, it was doing this, right? And I was like, this hadn't happened yet. And I was like, I don't believe this yet. <laughs> I, I was like, I don't 100% believe that I'm going to be able to uh, take this thing um, short, right? Because it's showing a, you know, again, this was supposed to be a day two trend trade um, going short. And... It did give the opportunity earlier in the session and then it gave a small opportunity for me. And I ended up, when I realized that this long trade wasn't happening, right? I just got, I took it off and then I went short, but then I, it was taking way too long. I just took the trade off and I'm like, now nah, I'm done. So this one was a fail for me today. I mean, I ended up not even making any money trading this. Um, it was a hard fail. So I'm just going to wait, right? Wait and see what happens tomorrow. It did close up, right? So we could possibly have a opportunity for it to go short tomorrow um, based on, you know, you know, we do have a low here. So I, I'm just going to pretend that this is going to, you know, pro possibly come up to this area. Um, maybe it extends, maybe tomorrow, Tuesday's usually extending the range, right? Maybe it extends the range. Maybe it doesn't right? I don't know yet. It's too early for me to try and assume anything because this was just a range bound day, which is typical anyway for, um, oftentimes for Monday, it's typical for a range bound day. You know what I mean? So it might continue to range, <laughs> you know, it just might do that. And then, um, and then Wednesday we may get the trade because they have, uh, news at 1030 Eastern time every week, every Wednesday. So if this does uh, work out, right, and we can actually start breaking, you know, this low, because right now it looks like we have a, a decent low in the, in the inside of this range right now, right? And this could stay at the high and then eventually start to break down and give me what it is that I'm looking for, for, for the wonderful day three trade, right? And if that happens, oh my gosh, so happy, right? <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see. Um, it definitely needs to um, show us a little bit more because today was just such a range bound day. I was really like looking forward for it to move, you know, beautifully because sometimes it does. You'll get you get in on the low. Right. And then you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but it just you know, this it just didn't work out. It just did not work out like I wanted to. But um, again, you know, it wasn't really. It wasn't really uh, one of those days to to trade it. So I'm glad that the losses that I did take were very small, right? Um, and that's it, 
right? So those are the, the trades that I took today and what is setting up for me tomorrow that I'm looking forward, forward to taking. Um, so we'll see how all that works out and we'll be back. All right. So thanks guys. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.